Are you someone who wants to pursue Japanese professionally or are you thinking of taking it up as a hobby? Whatever be the reason, whether you want to crack the exam or learn a new language, I really hope you enjoy learning this language as much as I did and for that reason I am starting this channel and I hope I can be of some help to you guys and that you find um, my content beneficial. So the most sought out certification for the Japanese language is the JLPT. More information regarding the exam, how to register and all that, I'm sure you can find it in their official website. I would attach the link below in the description. A JLPT has five different levels, N5 to N1, N5 being the beginner's level and N1 is the most advanced level. So as someone who's preparing for the JLPT N5 exam or as a beginner in Japanese language, one is expected to know about say 800 plus words, 80 plus grammar patterns and 100 kanjis. The exam is MCQ and it's a paper-based test. As far as N5 is concerned, it has um, three different levels, the examination. All of this put together, they check uh, your language knowledge in the first part and the second part of it you will be expected to answer a couple of reading comprehensions to test your reading knowledge and the third part you listen to a couple of audios and then answer answer the questions and to test your uh, listening abilities so japanese has um three different writing systems so the japanese sentences that you see in your mangas and in the web or online, they have a combination of all of these three. And what are these three? Kanji, hiragana, and katakana together called as kanas. So like I was saying in the previous slide, you need to know say 100 plus kanjis. So what are kanji? Kanji are logographic characters borrowed from Chinese script. Um, they can be standalone or they're combined with other um, kanjis to represent an entire word. It can be nouns, it can be verbs, it can be adjectives, etc. And what follows the kanji in a Japanese sentence is the grammatical part, which is always represented in hiragana. And katakana is used to represent foreign words like um, computers, uh, chocolates, laptops, etc. So Japanese is a syllabic writing system. Meaning it's not like um, it's not like English. It's not alphabetic. It doesn't go A B C D E. Uh, rather, it has a consonant and vowel pair. So you pronounce it as ka ki ku or ga gi gu. Um, so it is a phonetic syllabic system. Um, that's it. The brief introduction to um, N five. You guys, if you need more information regarding the exam, the pattern, the score, I'm sure you can find all of that in the official website. But still, if you want me to make a video on this, please do let me know in the comment below. I would be glad to do one. And um, stay tuned for my next video. We will jump right into the N5 course and start with our very first lesson looking at um, Hiragana. Take care, you guys.